Good evening, everybody. This is Subtix 84. This is part 7. Let's play Spiral 2 with those Rage. Last time we left off, we just finished up uh, Ocean Speedway. And um, we kind of we, we did a half ass job at. Um, what's that level What's that level called again? Because. My memory's off the frisk. Oh, yeah, Sunny Beach. Doy. But there's a reason why we did a half ass job because we won't we would not be able to get the uh, rest of the gems and the uh, and those two last orbs yet. But when I was watching Rise 51's uh, LP, it is, I did miss a few gems, but that's okay though, because because I will be coming back to uh, Sunny Beach anyway. So as you can see, we got one more level to take on, so we can fight the fight the boss of the first world. So now we gotta go over here to talk to money bags, so we can lower that wall. Yes, I see. How can I see it? If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, oh, you cocky little freak. Fine, I'll pay you. 400 gems to lower the wall. Mm. Yes. Cheapskate. Mm. Alright, so he's gonna lower he's gonna lower the wall and uh, we're gonna take on the last level of the of the first world. But first, let's get these gems out the way. Why not? And so the next level we're gonna take on is uh, Aquaria Towers. Now I have to say that that level is pretty interesting. So what you guys been up to? Today is Friday. All right, all right. That's, that's the boss doors. I just came for the for the gems. So today is Friday, August sixteenth. And you, should, and you guys should know what I already did this morning, or earlier today. I managed to watch Neptunia episode 6. Episode 6 of uh, Neptunia Animation. I gotta say that episode was pretty freaking hilarious because fucking Anand Death appeared. <laughs> yup, you remember Anand Death from Neptunia Victory? Well, he came back to Fort with Noir. Let's see how this recap is gonna turn out. But the episode starts out where Noir walked into a room and there was a bunch of hidden car cameras over the wall and a non death was just sitting on his chair while she was getting undressed. Then the theme song played. And yeah, those assholes drained the uh, seahorses of uh, water and without the water they're gonna die so we can't let that happen. And I believe it is possible to, to get everything on your first go. But first let me kill these enemies, get these gems, before I hit the switch to um, raise the water level. Oh, you, 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 you can still get the gems at, even though you hit the button to um, raise the water level, but it's a lot easier if you can... Um, get the gems beforehand. Now let's see how many enemies do we need to kill to activate that power up. Okay we need to kill 14 enemies so how many gems? 400 and there's 29 enemies and there's 3 orbs. Let's go hit that button and we'll hit the button uh, the, the war level is going to raise up. Alright. Oh shit. So what else happened? Okay then the theme song played. Then after the theme song played, uh, we see uh, Peachy and Neptune playing around. Well, mostly uh, Peachy was was picking on Neptune by by keep on punching her and uppercutting her. So they get to, we we get to finally see how um, how Peachy how hard Peachy can hit Neptune. Unlike on the Neptunia victory, it's like she did a combo break on Neptune. That, that shit was fucking hilarious. Oh, and I gotta say that. And that scene with uh, Nepgear and Bert was a little too much, but I don't mind though. Oh my god, but that scene with Nep that that scene with Nepgear and Bert was was a little fan, a little too fan uh, surfy-ish. Alright, let's hit the button then. How can I explain that scene? How can I describe it? Oh yeah, well, Nepgear and uh, Bert they were sitting out on the balcony. There was cuddling, and Nefgear's face was was like on was like all over her titties, her big old titties. Well, they didn't kiss anything like that. They, they were just cuddling, as in sisterly as in uh, sisterly love. 
because if you guys have played the Neptunia games, you 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 know that Fur is the only CPU that doesn't have a sister. So she was just treating Nep Gear like like a sister that she never had because she never did have a sister because she wanted one. So as I said, Fur and uh, Nep Gear is out on the bal balcony cuddling in a sisterly way, but Nep Gear's face was was, was leaning on uh, Fur's titties. That's what, that's why I said, oh shit. <laughs> I think I like where it's gonna go. <laughs> then Neptune got all fucking jealous. She's like, what are you what are you doing with my sister? All coming up and shit. And she said something about the Lily ranks. Yeah, they made a reference to the Lily ranks. You know, if the more closer they uh the more closer Nef Gear gets to uh Vert then they're gonna, start to, they're gonna start to love each other in a in a sisterly way, but yeah, it's kind of hard to explain it though. All right, let's go down here. And what else would happen? Oh, and um, oh, there, there was a uh, Muni Ram and Ram. The scene with what else? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a hallway scene between um. Nup Gear, Uni, Ramen Ram. They there was there was placing a, a a surveillance camera in the bookshelf. And then they found out that there is more than one hidden cameras. And so wait, how many jumps do we got? 127. Alright, let's talk to money bags. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine. The modest fee. I don't think it's a modest fee, but okay. So anyway, now, now anyway, the scene switches to uh to a non death in the secret room, watching the war push until Neptune, Noir, and Vert came in, and fucking a non death starts embarrassing uh Noir as she showed her that showed uh the CPU that that Noir's been doing cosplay in. And she was freaking the fuck out. You have no idea. Alright. If I kill one more enemy, I'd have to fake that power up, and I did. Alright. But don't forget about those three orbs, but... It's better that we, um... That we raise every water level before we go to these orbs. But you'll see why, though. Oh, 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 another thing. I love how, um, there's also a Neptunia victory reference where, uh, Neptune fell on the, fell on the war after, uh, she was playing around with, with, uh, Pichy. Cause Pichy had uppercut Neptune and she fell on the war. <laughs> as, as she did on, the uh, Neptunia victory. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spare him since I, since I got enough to, um, activate that power up. Oh, I did not mean to talk to you. I did not mean to talk to you because you just came out of fucking nowhere, but that's okay though because we're not done with this world yet. Because I normally go for the talisman last, but I still didn't see you there. I yeah, hope you guys understand my fucking review because I really suck making these reviews. That's why I like doing my, my let's plays. You know what? We're, we're, we're going to do these orb missions out the way. Then we then we go after the gems. So we're going to go up here. Oh yeah, and there's a few gems up here as well. Alright, so we can't forget about those. What else, what else I can remember? Oh yeah, and Noir tried to kick um, a non deaths ass, but he, but he escaped. But... <laughs> He intentionally got his ass kicked by Peachy because Peachy was chasing that, uh, Peachy was chasing a bandicoot and she accidentally tackled him and he got arrested. Now, Angie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you hadn't seen episode 6, you better watch it before you watch this video because I am about to spoil it. Yes, I am about to spoil it, so, Angie, I'm gonna give you a fair, I'm gonna give you a fair chance. Delete the video 
and go watch episode 6 right away. Because if you watch episode 6, then you understand why I'm, why I'm trying my best to... Blah, blah, blah. Oh god, I can't talk. I'm so tongue-tied. I can't help it, folks. I need some more jumps up there. But yeah, Angie, once you watch episode 6, you gonna understand why... Why I'm dying? Why I'm trying to get you to watch episode six as fast as possible? Because I I have to I have to say in this video, for my review's sake. All right. So the episode ends as guess who finally appeared? All right, I'll get that in a second. And there's Hunter. And this, this is kind of like Super Mario 64 in a way, but what we're going to do is we're going to race Hunter. Well, we're going to run this fucking Mantana Ray and go through these circle bubbles. Ring of bubbles, I mean. Why would I want to dent a Mantana Ray? And this is pretty easy. Alright. So you just eat, well, you gotta find that seahorse and go through the ring of bubbles. Oh, I missed those jumps up there, but I'll get those in a sec. But anyway, guess who finally appeared at the very end of that episode? You won't, you won't, you, you guys will not believe who finally appeared. Yup, fucking Plutia. Plutia appeared at the very end of episode six. You guys should have heard my fucking reaction. I was like, Plutia! That's the first thing I said as soon as I saw her form from the sky. So we got our 16th orb in total. But we got to uh, ride that Mantena Ray again for the second orb. Why not? And I was in, in, as soon as I saw Plutia, I said to myself, Oh my god, Angie is so going to love this episode because... Plutia is uh is Angie's favorite character, cause I remember on episode when I remember when she watched episode one, she was all upset because Plutia wasn't on episode one. I'm like Angie, give it some time. Oh shit, I fucked myself over, didn't I? Cause you go too fucking fast, seahorse. All right. That seahorse went too fucking fast. I I, I didn't see where the fuck he went. Yeah, what's so hard about this mission is that Seahorse goes a little faster. Alright, I'll keep that ran on hold for a while. So I can, um, uh, get on my intense focus. Oh god. Yeah, this is why I want to stop talking for a while. Oh god, come on. Is it over? Oh! Good is over. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. Why ain't give me that orb in the first place, dick? So that's our second orb of the stage, so we got 17 in total. And this is how we get the last orb. Now see, I might have passed that oh there she is. That seahorse, we gotta talk to her. Six of my well, it's a king, actually. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. All right. So here's a gimmick. The six numbered towers. My children will be safe. You gotta find. You gotta find a certain towers with the numbers on it, and save the king's children. Reach the top of the towers, and the towers will open in order. Yeah. But first, let me, um, let me get those gems. Alright. Let's use the Sparks trick. Oh, God. Which way, which way, which way? Oh, shit! Don't know how I missed that. Don't know how I missed those jewels. Alright. Let's go around again. We just want to make sure that I got everything in this area. But first, we're gonna, we're gonna go in that tower with the number one on it. Yep, which is right here. Oh shit! 
So what you gotta do is just swim up, swim up to that little baby uh, seahorse and touch it. But watch out because sometimes there's there's electrical shit in the tower, and you will take damage, like you saw just now. Oh shit! I should to kill that fucking sheep. Now let's go to let's go to the number two tower, and take your time. All right, just keep going to the top and then touch that baby seahorse. All right, number three is like at the beginning of the stage. Th this isn't too bad. You just gotta know the level. You just gotta. You just gotta learn the whole layout by heart. All right. Okay, now where is that manhole thingy at? Yep, right here. No, 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 no. That's Hunter. All right, now we're ready to get the fuck out of here. All right, there's number three. Oh shit, there's enemies in there as well. And number four, where the fuck is that at? Number four, number four is right here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, and once you touch the baby seahorse, then the uh, electrical shit will disappear. Well yeah, once again folks, Pluya finally made her appearance at the end of episode 6. I am so fucking happy she arrived. So now all we gotta see now is uh, Peachy turn the, uh, uh, the yellow heart and Pluya turn to freaking uh, Iris heart. Alright, where's number 5 at? Is this number 5? Yes it is. Alright. Let's go up here. Where the next one's gonna be at? Number six. Oh shit, we need to oh yeah, I think I know where that's at. It's in the green area, ain't it? Oh yeah, we gotta come down here anyways, cause this this there's gems down there. Oh boy. Maybe it's in the other section. Oh hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Thank you, Sparks. Let's go through here then. Is it? Is it? Is that a green area? Okay, just talk to money bags, and you automatically hopped on in. So, how many jobs you got in total? Oh hello! Oh damn! I didn't think uh, you can skip the uh, that cutscene there. So we got two hundred. We got three hundred eighteen. All right, it was number six. How many do we got? Oh, I don't tell you when it hits the left. Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 I already found them all. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this. Yes, I am. So we got all the orbs. But yeah, man, I, I, no, I need, I need to, I need to put that picture of Nepgear and Vert on my Skype on my uh, Skype profile pic. If uh, Facebook decides to upload the picture on there, then hopefully you guys will see what I'm talking about. But Nepgear and Vert seem pretty close now. But that scene was too fan serious as uh, Ken Meister would say. I guess that's all I can say about the episode, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Mr. Bat appears. Oh, here's something I want to tell uh, Matt and Angie. Now, Angie and Matt, if you guys are watching this, if you guys are still wondering why they call Parachu a uh, rare chew, well, it's because that's their that's his name in, uh, in Japan. But here's what I found funny, Angie. If you knew what R Force uh, Japanese name is, but how do you not know that Parachu's Japanese name is Rarechu? How is that possible? How do you not know that? I just find that hilarious. All right, where's that power up I was seeing? There it is. All right, I need to go in that in that particular room. Matter of fact. Let's take this route first. We want to pass that fucking shark tank. 
that shark, yeah, that shark, uh, something rain. Now you want to do, you want to take these motherfuckers out first because if those metal sharks eat you, it's an instant death, and we don't fucking want that. All right, let's uh let's take him out for it wear us out. All right, now let's get the rest of these gems. All right. We are destroying this fucking world by the fucking boss. Can't forget about y'all. I missed some. I missed some back there. All right, but we still gotta hit that power up again because. Wait a minute. Let's see. Okay, we need. We need. Uh, we need. We need 25 more. And I know where they are. But I gotta find that power up though. Okay. This could be tricky because I don't know the whole uh, section by heart. Alright, we gotta go yeah, we gotta go this hole right here. But don't let those fucking sharks eat you, or else it's an instant death. Oh, uh, how you missed? Alright, let's get these out the way. And hurry up and blast that. That should be all the gems. Is that it? Yes, it is. Aquaria Towers is now complete. But yeah, Angie and Matt, how do y'all not know that Parachu's uh, Japanese name is Rarachu, but y'all know our forest Japanese name? <laughs> I told Angie that case she tells me that, and she's like, I already know that. I'm like, what? All right, so oh, that's because I'm not. See, I'm, I'm so used to I'm so used to not looking at the fucking map on Spiral One. That's why I get a little sidetrack. That's why I get a little lost sometimes. Like, where to go? Where to go? Look at your fucking map. All right, wanna go up here and go through the exit, and we're done. Let's watch this cutscene. See, yeah, folks, I mostly ran on my uh, on my favorite show, Neptunia the Animation. But it was a funny episode. But man, I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see Pluya in action. I cannot wait, I still can't wait to see Angie's reaction when she sees Pluya on uh, episode 6. That's why I had to warn her that that if she hasn't seen episode 6, you better hurry and watch it before watching... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we got six talismans now. You know what that means, right? This door will open. And not only the door will open, we're about to fight the boss, but we're going to do that in, we're gonna do that in the next video. Alright, folks, so let me save my game. And we'll take care of the first boss in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the new series on Neptunia. Because I damn sure enjoyed it. And I am about to go offline. So until next time, Celtics 842, out.